In order to schedule irrigation events, two questions must be answered, when to irrigate and how much water should be applied. These questions are very complex due to soil characteristics and irrigation systems. Although there are many tools that can be used to help growers determine irrigation scheduling, there is no perfect method for predicting the exact time to irrigate a crop. The soil acts as a reservoir and foundation for the crop. The plant is only able to access the available water from field capacity to the permanent wilting point. Field capacity is the maximum amount of water that can be stored in the soil after gravity drainage has occurred. The permanent wilting point is the lower limit of the available water in the reservoir and is where the plant will begin to irreversibly wilt. Soil moisture depletion is the depth of moisture depletion at any particular time. This value can be closely approximated using the soil water by feel evaluation. The by feel method samples the soil at different depths to determine the soil water deficit. Based on the properties of the soil, one can estimate the soil moisture content. The soil is rolled, squashed, and squeezed to determine if the soil will form a ball, leave a stain, or hold a ribbon. This method is most useful on medium and heavy textured soil. There is a simple table that shows an approximation of the soil water deficit. It can be used to estimate the soil moisture depletion in inches of water per foot of soil. The NRCS Estimating Soil Moisture by Feel and Appearance brochure also provides a guideline in English and Spanish for estimating soil moisture conditions. This table is used to determine the dryness of the soil by performing several very easy tests. Initially, one needs to try to form the soil into a ball and then into a ribbon. If there is enough moisture, the soil will form a ball. If there is a lot of moisture, the soil can be formed into a ribbon. In the outside portion of the exercise, participants examine a recently irrigated border strip and a dry border strip. A backhoe operator digs two large pits to expose the different layers of soil in the root zone. With the large exposure of the soil, the participants are able to view the soil texture and structure of the samples in the field. The participants take samples at every six inches for the top three feet of soil of each sample location. Each person has the opportunity to get a sample of the soil and classify the moisture depletion at that particular level. For the dry soil samples, the class adds a small amount of water to the sample in order to determine the soil texture. The class is also shown how to operate soil moisture sensors. This quick evaluation determines a soil moisture depletion value. An irrigator can use the results to determine how much water to apply to a field and how long to run the irrigation system to that field. For example, if the soil moisture depletion came out to 3.5 inches total and the grower had an irrigation system capable of applying 0.25 inches an hour, then the irrigation would need to last 14 hours. The end result tells the gardener how long the field needs to be irrigated. In this example, 14 hours is needed to bring the soil to field capacity.